Hello and welcome to Ask Kate, brought to you by the Children's Tumor Foundation. Today I'm going to be answering a very um, a fantastic question that doesn't require a long time to answer, but when I was looking for the answer um, in resources that we have, I realized that actually it's not entirely clear. So I was contacted by a young woman who um, has NF1 and wanted to know if there was a difference between a cutaneous neurofibroma and a subcutaneous neurofibroma. Now we know that in um, people living with NF1, that neurofibroma is, the, is one of the types of tumors that develops um, and it's the kind of the bumps that we see on the skin um, and, you know, and they don't become cancerous or cause, um, you know, illness. They do not um, become malignant or turn into some worse type of tumor. Um, and that is still true. The difference between cutaneous and subcutaneous is actually just about location. Um, and then they, they act a little different, I'll say it. Um, so for a cutaneous neurofibroma, these are um, right on top of or just barely underneath the skin. They tend to be very movable when you touch them um, and they are, you know, can be softer uh, and they, it's really like that's that location. The subcutaneous neurofibromas are deeper. They're still growing with the nerves of the skin, but they're just down deeper. They tend to be a little bit more firm and they don't move around quite as much when you when you touch them. They can also cause a little bit more tenderness um, and that, that can be a real concern and something that needs to be addressed and you can speak to your, um, your NF doctors about because you know certainly if something is causing pain, we wanna see if there's something we can do to address that um, and, and take care of that pain. You also want to consider that if you have a subcutaneous neurofibroma that's causing pain, that could create confusion um, about, you know, is this, I get this question a lot, which is I have this small bump, it's very deep under my skin or it seems deep under my skin and it, it hurts. Could, could it be a plexiform? Well, obviously, if you're having pain, if you're noticing any new growths or new pain, definitely go and talk to your doctor about it um, and, and have them take a look and do an examination and find out if there's any reason to be concerned. If it is a subcutaneous neurofibroma, these along with cutaneous neurofibromas um, are not the same thing as plexiforms and, and will not go, um, go on to cause any significant medical issue. So hopefully this is helpful. I know it was brief. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about anything I've said here today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.